Uh, Whoa, you're a weirdo. Ah, uh, gotta put the man shirt on today. Is, is that, I've seen tweakers wearing that shirt, dude. This is what you gotta wear, man. When you're a man? Well, man? when you become 55, it's, yeah, that's what it's all about. Dude, I thought you were 65. You look so good for your age. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> weirdo. Great. This pile of crap is right over the hole. Fun. A little bit of asbestosis for your day. Nothing like mesothelioma in the morning. Of course it's out of it. Come on, man. That's in. That's the wall. That's the wall. That's not open. That makes it so hard. Well, you want maybe move. Uh, if we move the pile out here, there's nowhere to throw, though. You couldn't ask for a better, ask for a better site. We got the restroom. <laughs> Beautiful weather. Restroom. At least we have a restroom. We also have a really shitty game of Jenga. Way less fun. <laughs> Way more dirty. Oh, wow. Bob, I've moved a mountain. A pit, where it's here. It's there, it's there, and it's there. The love boat. Look at this, I found love. It's like something you'd see a crate and barrel. Here you go, baby. A gift on Valentine's Day. A gift of tetanus. There's actually a bot down here. A little trash pit. I probe some weird lair. Let's see what it is. Looks like a big, big honker. Big clunky. Big clunky monkey. Oh. Whoa. Huh. It's a big honking German applied top whiskey. That's kind of cool. God, too bad that didn't say anything. I've saved it. That's a big, like a flint glass bottle or a it's European. Whoa. Oh. Down here. I found it mixed with love in a flower pot. Jeez. Backyard trash layers. That would have been destroyed as soon as they peeled this concrete slab. Superhero bot saver. Okay, I got another bot down there. A rug someone threw away. Backyard trash layer. Uh, uh. Oh, it's a it's a Tabasco pepper sauce. Hilled Tabasco. Still make it today. Hot pepper. Love in the time of syphilis. Oh, where'd it go? Whoa. Ironstone, catfish. Uh, I know I saw a bottle back here. Uh, uh. Oh, God damn you. Uh. Oh, it's a wind. Oh, double bot. Whoa, that would have been a freaking awesome jar. Damn it. Why is that cracked? That's a really interesting jar. The color, I tell you. Look at the color on that. Oh, man. Look at the color on the jar. My love. The heart I found was for you. Oh. Oh, my frozen Charlotte. Here she comes. Here comes the sun for the first time. Hey, baby. 
I got you something. My girlfriend. I love you. That girl was just ahead, but look, I found her Hooters. An Al Drug Company bottle. Ah, that's a cool size of one too. The Owl Drug Company. Hootie hoo! The Owl Drug Company was founded in San Francisco, California in 1892. Their trademark image of an owl that can be seen embossed in many of their bottles represented wisdom, as well as indicated that the Owl Drug Company's stores were open 24 hours a day. Eye-catching packaging, nocturnal business hours, and cut-rate prices quickly propelled the Owl Drug Company into becoming one of the biggest drugstore chains to emerge from the West, with stores opening nationwide and selling everything from pain relievers, tonic water, and bath phosphates, to denatured alcohol, witch hazel, and cold cream. The bottles manufactured for the Owl Drug Company are very collectible and can be found in a variety of shapes and colors. Yeah, so what I speculate this was, was a little backyard trash pit with the contents of a sick room. Maybe like an old lady, some flower pots broken in there, little canning jars, the person's bed. When a person died, you know, old people back then, they would, their relatives, they'd keep them at home. They wouldn't stay in a hospital. So they'd be at home until they died and there'd be a sick room. And often when they died, they would take all their stuff and bury it, you know, maybe out of precaution because whatever disease they had might be contagious some medicinal whiskey, maybe their granddaughter's doll, lots of medicinal bottles, lots of remedy bottles for being sick. Yeah, their plates. That's probably what it was. This could be a baby carriage wheel. person's shoe. Oh, that's a working man's shoe. Wow. Yeah, could be an old man's sick room. I'm thinking. Probably not a woman. Those are people. Everyone liked to do gardening back then. Like, so, yeah, a dude could have had yeah. these flowers, plants that he cultivated. Doctors in the Old West weren't a common sight. And most families would treat their sick at home using patent medicines and traditional home remedies such as castor oil, garlic, cod liver oil, and local herbs and plants. A spot in the house was designated as a sick room and kept clean, fragrant, and well ventilated. If a person died in the sick room, some of the objects that were in the room with the person were thrown out so as to prevent the spread of the disease. What evidence did we find in this trash pit indicating it could be the contents of a sick room? Well, there's a flower pot, which could have adorned the room to add a sense of serenity and some fragrance to the air. The remains of a spring mattress, which could have been the person's deathbed, which was broken down and tossed afterwards. The person's shoe, some old iron wire shaped into a heart possibly an art project that the dying person kept themselves occupied with, or a gift for them made by a loved one, a medicinal whiskey bottle to soothe the person's pain. The frozen Charlotte doll is interesting because it dates to the 1870s and this trash pit dates to about 1895. So it could have been a keepsake the person owned since they were a kid, or it belonged to a beloved child of theirs, or it had some other personal significance. We'll never know. And of course, lots of medicine bottles. Dinner set coming out of the hole. The whole set of them. <laughs> wow. Cool.
cool. Oh, here we go. Hey, it's a, it's a jar. Broken jar, but still. Oh, it's cold. fruit jar. The gem. It's a bake light comb. Vulcanized rubber. This is actually really wow. old. Oh, is that old? Yeah. Wow. That's rubber. It's not plastic. I know. It's one piece. That, that was the Goodyear, 1851. Oh. All right, you scored, out. That's where the name Comb came from, I guess. I scored. late 1870s style cone ink. Oh. Yeah, look at that bot pocket. That's not Chinese, I'm sorry. Nice. Unless the dude was trying to be a proper businessman. Okay, whatever, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> breaking a lot of stuff or he had kids they're throwing rocks at these things sometimes they broke things intentionally to make room in the pits for more stuff they could extend the life of the hole like a real hole wow kind of crammed in here yeah that's jam-packed i think should open it a little bit where does it go that was that way a you can access it from here That is bottle gasm footage. Window, shaving mugs, lamp glass. Whoa, crystal. Oh, crystal. Crystal soda water from the Crystal Springs. It's Very Chinese. Careful extraction here. Is that a magic oil? It looks like it. Yeah. God, it's too good. Oh, man. Magic oil. There's a snake oil if I've ever seen one. Great name. Mid 1870s. Let's see if there's anything inside here. Any kind of evidence. Sometimes they threw stuff in these cups. Coal, a big old hunk of coal in your stocking. I always wondered why they threw these things away. That's old. Wow. Ponteeled. This is definitely not Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Aperitif. Sticking straight up. It's a girthy layer. Bottom. Wow, these pits would have been destroyed in one yeah, scoop. One's taken out. Yeah. When they demo this slab, these pits are going to be history, man. Turn that thing off. Whoa, ink. style of croc, early 1870s, late 1860s. Oh, that bowl, too. It goes deeper, actually. It might be pre oh, Yeah, that's, that's special. Final. Oh, 
has a murder bottle top. A feeding, feeding bottle to have like a, a hose attached to this and a little sucker where all the bacteria would be trapped. Babies would die of bacterial infection from these things very often. Top of that Crystal Springs soda water bottle. Soda water has a loop job. Personal loop bottle. Oh my god. Is that a western one? Uh, you can see the, the day that someone broke that wine and just put the bottle into the broken bottle. Someone's action 150 years ago. Lamp chimneys. Oh, that looks like a Jamaica ginger. That went to Matty J here. I bet you that's a lion's. Yeah, that looks a lot like a lion's. That top, so distinctive. Hey. Don't pull. Don't pull out. Soda. Pioneer, I would guess. I'm gonna go Pioneer. Flavoring extract for cooking. Cherry Lions. EG Lions. Nice, nicer top. Nice. Nicer top. EG Lions Western Jamaica Ginger. It's making me crazy because this camera won't focus. There it is. Make a ginger. Cobalt blue. <laughs> well, that's a really, oh, really old. Okay. Whatever the hell that thing is. Ah, this old applied top. Reiner. Nah, that's all chip, but Reiner's. Reiner's. Popular soda from the period. Western. The moon, baby. Children's cup, gold leaf. Easily, you just rub off the gold leaf, unfortunately. Can't even read the name, the child. Standard for a trash pit. Everyone was pissed off back then. They're breaking plates a lot more often. Pepper sauce. Pepper sauce. These people were especially. Breaky. These are achy breaky people. Oh, it's a glass marble. Burnt by the heat of the fire. Children's cups. Who's your daddy? Oh, oh, I barely read that. Barry? Beery? 
dirty. But thinky. Ah, just can't make it out. Suddenly all these cod liver oil bottles coming out. They really, really liked their cod liver oil back then. A spoonful of cod liver oil. I used to give that to kids. Wow, what a shaving mug that would have been. Barney, those pieces. Black attack. Pepper sauce. Fancy drinking glass for after dinner. Tonic digestive. Shaving mug for a lady shaving her legs. <laughs> chamber pot handle or a pouring pitcher. Oh, there's the chamber pot. Oh, there's the other chamber pot full of seeds. Mark on it. Ooh, more shaving mugs. A lot of little cups here. Empire Soda Works. Soda bottle. Window glass. Drinking mug. All these cups. What's going on with this? It's bad you can't read any of them. The gold leaf is just gone enough. Holy crap. What in the hell is that thing? I think that's a bone. It's like heavier though. It's a weird, weird object. Oh, that's interesting. Paneled shaving mug. birthday present. That's cool. Finally, we know what they say. That's a lot of birthdays. Jeez, what is the story behind these things? There is a story. Sometimes all you can do is guess. Because you can't really see into their minds. Seeing this pile of broken cups, I can just imagine this misbehaved Victorian child smashing every single cup that was gifted to them, and then their parents just keep buying them more. Buttons from someone's shirt. Oh no, I compulsively have to save every button now. Of the button. If you don't save the button, something bad will happen. Bennington Marble. Oh, you missed it. Damn it. Right in the corner. Here? Below. Buried. Now in the corner. Oh, yeah, you got it. Oh, it's not a Bennington. It's better. Probably all cracked, but German swirl and a nice pink color. Oh, there's a better one. 
They need the flowers though. Really? Even with the lines? Hmm. Better marbles here. I like the color of that pink one. These German swirls can usually be pretty cracked up. Oh, bed bug poison. Bed bugs, big problem back then, obviously. Uh, Turners. Even though these are from New York on the glass, they're actually a bottle that was blown Boswell. out west. Boswell? What the hell is that? Colorific. What? <laughs> That's cool. Colorific? Yeah, cobalt. What? 60s. What a weird bot. Boswell and Warner's. Colorific. <laughs> Color. That is colorific. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, it's real. not false advertising. It's like way old base. That's Corner. super cool. Yeah, yeah. Barely a pound. The resurrection. Resurrect. The zombie soda. Nice. Power. Western. Managed to grab this right before everything fell. Cool. Oh, mama. Oh, you're shaping it. I see. That's amazing, actually. Uh oh. Oh, tragedy. It's got a sulfide marble here. You can't really see what's inside it. Let me try licking it. Uh, I licked it. You can kind of see in there now. It worked. But not really. Yeah, it's almost like there's like a flat object in there. Maybe like Jesus on an altar or... It doesn't look like a bird. It doesn't look like a sulfide eagle. I'll lick it again. Oh, I choked. <laughs> Gag reflex. Whew. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you still kind of can't quite make it out of what's in there. Uh, mm. Oh, mm. tastes like uh, tastes like walnuts. This came out of the upper layer, right in the last corner of the upper layer. <laughs> Saint Clair's hair lotion. It's actually a Western product. Shampoo, grow your hair back, you know, all that good stuff. Mm hmm. Oh, you PU'd, Bob. What? You missed this. You threw it out. Andrew found it filling the hole. It's a Remington gun oil bottle. Now that is pretty cool. <laughs> I thought it was a sperm sewing machine. That's awesome. There we go. The mountain is restored. Thirty-five dollars, huh? <laughs> I'll give you thirty-five dollars. <laughs> thirty-five fucking sledgehammers. <laughs> What's the best you can do? Honk, 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 honk. 
Here we have a stupid. In terms of a bot color, that's a green Dr. Barnes Jamaica Ginger, our hall proprietors, 1860s Western Jamaica Ginger. Oh, that's a really nice bot right there. And we have Bob. Bob LaPeepee. Screwing it all up. Bob El Tubo. <laughs> oh, you got a pipe down there now, man? Come on. I'm trying to get out of here. What are you doing, Bob? You guys probe the pipe. Saturday night, I'm trying to. <laughs> what would you do? I'm trying to do something here. What would you do without Socially. Trying to go have a good time with party people. What do you call this? Can you find a pipe? What do you call this? Why do you have to compli complicate my life like this? Ugh. You have organic below the pipe. Do you have organic? Come on at first before you get too hot. Oh, Hit it on the other hope. side of the joint. If there's any hope at all, we have to get this out of the way. I'm sorry. Oh! There's not much Ooh. in there. Sludge. Not bad. Ugh. Yeah, but where is it coming from? Is it going to keep dripping on us when we're trying to dig? Yeah, that's my point. Ugh. You're really going to make a lot of... Um, Bob, you can't dig the pit. I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is you should dig all around it and expose it first before you... As a matter of fact, you'd, you'd probably be easier to have a couple of couple I know. I don't have it here, but I feel... Almost like he, he got hit by the sledge. <laughs> Where's my shovel? <laughs> yeah, my, my shovel's not a pry bar, Andrew. Oh. Have a nice day. It's not, it's not, a, shovel, it's not a pry bar. It's a shovel. It's a very wounded shovel. It's a five ninety nine shovel. It's a very it wounded matter. shovel that you only have to know how to use it the right way in order to make it. Did you grow up during the Great Depression or something? <laughs> Use the tool. There's hutches coming out of here already. Cow. Cow. Yes, yeah, so, so Ned calls me up and they say, Dude, what did you do? Pulling the bottle around. This just came out under the pipe. Young's Natural Mineral Water. Vichy Springs. Napa County, California. Vichy is like a like a French style of mineral water. Vichy pipe, Springs. Pipe's gotta go. <laughs> get, the, get the sludge, 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 sludge. Pipe gotta go. Sludge, 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 sludge. Bam. Go, go, Do it, go, do it, do it. Go, bam, go, bam, go, bam. Go. Uh, uh. Uh. Don't break the blobs below. Just just throw there. Yeah, I wonder what. Well, put that back in first when they. Uh, yeah, we'll put it back. That's not a pry bar. What is it then? Five ninety nine piece of wood. No, you already repaired it once. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, it is a pry bar. Small drop. Bam. Wonga donga. Bob's like, ain't no hole. <laughs> That's a new cap. That's other California one, Soda Works with the Eagles. Look at this, Davy, Davy, Davy. Bob's like, it's not a hole. Don't do it. Davy Crockett. Uh, this is Davy Crockett, Hay Grower Holtz and Company, San Francisco, Soul Agents, Pure Old Bourbon. Cool name. Small job! <laughs> this is like the first Old West nostalgia in the 1890s. They started naming brands, you know, after Old West famous figures. Oh, there's a bike. In this age, you find a lot more like bicycles and stuff because it was it's the beginning of, um, there was like a lot more leisure time, industrial revolution, you Small know. Job! <laughs> no, it's not. It's called the cap. Right? Yeah, the cap. What? <laughs> it's like another language? 
Weiros. Too weiro, too weird, too weird. <laughs> it's a weird seltzer water. Oh, it says something on the bottom, but I think it's just the manufacturer. Manufacturer. Ahem. Yeah, New York. New York City. Asparagus. Oh, Matthews Apparatus and Company. <laughs> weird. Oh, cool graphic. Apparatus, I tell you. Oh, Bobby, I... what is that? It's, it's a strainer. really well preserved. Oh, a strainer? Yeah, it's a strainer. Straining what? Well, you, when you're scooping something out of something and it's draining. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Yeah, you know what that is? It it's, it's a C like sh it's shaped like a shell. Yeah. Table it's a thing. great piece. It's really well preserved, except for that shovel junk. Better than a. A backhoe chunk, though. <laughs> Some quality brass there. Quality. We got a piece of Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory. Explain that one. How does that work? It goes in there and then it comes out and the gas rises and come out. Too bad they kicked me out of chemistry class. Yeah, well, it's, pretty <laughs> it's pretty obvious they did. I'm useless in the world. I was a literature major. It's obvious. It's I went to college for five years and I've, I don't know anything about anything practical. I don't even know how to lay pipe. At least not that kind. Cool, it's an intact piece though. I actually agree with you. Yeah, I mean, you, you didn't go to college, look at you. I actually agree. I went to trade school, I got two journeyman cards. Journeyman. You're a journeying man. What is that? Is that the Holy Grail? Oh, what was that? Cali fig? Cali fig. Fig syrup. Down to the lair with the Bennington. The age has changed. Got the Rebecca by the well. Who's not? Whoa, pot lid. Whoa. Nah. Yeah. Um, Stupid white. Nothing. Pipes took out part of the hole. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh. There's the base. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> there we go. Toothpaste or shaving cream pot. 1880s. Right here, if you need it. We have Pico. Where's the other Pico? Pico Pete. I don't know. Go get it, man. Well, don't you want the plastic Pico? I don't know. My Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oil, Oil gladness. gladness. Oh, I love those. Mother. Whoa. Mother of that's love. a super nice one. I'm that's glad a... we dug it. Come that's, on, baby. That's a, that's that's, a Barney photo. That's love. God, I feel bad. I'm like torturing the guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's really nice. Oh, Oil of Gladness. Dr. Lepers. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Sacramento. Wonderful. Justin Gates. Go, 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 go. Ugh. Go. Look at that applied top. That's a really nice one. Oh, my wiener just got significant. Oh, it's got a streak of olive in it. Damn you. I want it. I want it. Let me see it. Look at that glass. That's an incredible drinking glass. Don't. Oh, it's a Hold squirrel. A squirrel? <laughs> it's a squirrel bottle. Oh, it's a, a swirl glass. That's an incredibly decorative. I've never seen a drinking glass with that much good decoration. It's a really nice glass, man. That's a seed layer Wow, that's a big honker. That's a jar. It's a rare jar. 
<laughs> That's a rip. Isn't it funny how the Bradens are have problems with the chow chows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always. Never fails. Just puff into the fruit jar? No. Is that oh, the bottom, whoa, Andrew? Man, you're like hitting the top of that thing with a shovel. Andrew, God. did you scrape the bottom? Yeah. Of it? Use the plastic. Oh, bot. Florida. Agua Florida. Or is it a sauce? Oh, that's fun. Fancy sauce. Bloody English. Cool top. It's nice though. What kind of jar is this? Anybody know? It's not a wax sealer. It's almost like a primitive screw top. This was cracked already. It just fell apart. It's got, a, it's got rust in the crack, so uh, everything's good. But, uh, yeah. Interesting jar. Yeah, they're drinking like maybe what, what once a once a year. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Dork. Whoa. Whoa. Don't, don't, wow. Don't break that. Platos, no quebrados. Toothbrush, toothbrush. Jesus. Wow. Bottle vision over here. He just buried it. Bone handle. I'd say Reddington or something on it. All right, bottle vision. It's not a jar, unfortunately. Jar. Stuff in here. That's what's the wall that one direction. Yeah, that's that wall. What? Whoa, it's broken. It's broken. Brick throwing jerk wads. Power pack right there. Uh, the old fill so it doesn't cave in. Buy yourself some time. Huh. That hole doesn't look like it's going to cave in. Oh, it will. They all do. There's two kinds of pits, Bob. Pits that caved in and pits that will cave. <laughs> in Marysville, there's only one kind of pit. <laughs> hard, hard sandstone. Right there, Hachi. Bottle Lanch. It's not older, huh? Pioneer. pioneer. There's your wall. You're man. a pioneer. No, Bob, I just got a hole. There's your freaking wall, man. You always wanted a wall. I'm a Bob, you don't take it. It's a wall. Huh. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look at that cool plate. That's an old one. It's got the, the sided edges. 1860s. Octagon. Yeah. Oh. That's oh. another 
German thing. I can't German. believe you guys. Yeah. I can't believe you guys. I've never found any of those. Uh, we haven't found any Hawk problems. wines. And now, please stay tuned for a special Bottle Ned public service announcement. Hey everybody, Bottle Ned here. When I'm not digging for bottles, sometimes I like to participate in social justice and anti-racist movements such as defunding the police in high crime areas and therefore victimizing poor people. But another thing I love to do is clean up trash on the beach. Here, fishy. Tell them why cleaning up trash on the beach is good. Because if I swallow plastic, I could die even more than I'm dead now. Yep, that's right. You heard it here, everybody. If fish and other marine animals swallow plastic, it can get inside their stomach and make them feel like they're full, and therefore they starve to death, which sucks. So, it's good to remove the plastic from the marine environment. Here's how we do it. Okay, so see this tube that I'm taking a piss into right now? Oh, man. Ah, oh, that's nice. Unfortunately, that's made out of plastic, PVC plastic. So we got to take a hacksaw and get rid of that. Also, there are some tires around here. You have some other ocean detritus, such as a toilet from an old sailing boat and a plastic crate. And since all that stuff is made out of plastic, it's all got to go. Because Bottle Ned is all about nature. Oh, <laughs> nature. All right, I'm trying to get up this cliff here. But I got my humble bag of trash, ocean plastics. You're out of here.